By the time you realise, the life you once had is already behind so what, you. She's like living in the wilderness, basically, on the run. She's got guns and all. Dalek. The Dalek sector is growing. Whoa! Oh, I, mean, wait, but they just I didn't know the Daleks were going to be in this because series. Well, to be fair, it wouldn't be Doctor Who without them. Keep calling the beginning of the end. Oh my God! Who is there left to stop them? They're gonna die. Yeah, Can't look at that. Nowhere. Straight to dust. Feasting on the wreckage. Coming for the survivors of the flocks. That reminds me of like a story of like you've got the Nothing original wave and the is second stop wave. Me from getting to you. Who is that? So weird. Interesting though. <laughs> Dude. Oh, so they got on the. Okay, yep, yeah, and then she controlled it. What did it do though? And what happens to the doctor? Ooh. Time energy! Broken and disrupted time. Not me as well, I have too much to do. And where does she go? So weird, you know. The Weeping Angel's part to play in this, I swear, is just like a big ass buffet. Okay, that is one of the most confusing openings I've ever seen. <laughs> I love it, guys. Anyway, honestly, like, there are a lot of people that complain about how confusing Doctor, Doctor Who can be, and a lot of people that don't like it. I am the complete opposite. I love how it can be confusing, and you've got to actually think. To figure out what's going to happen or you know I'll, i got kind of like annoyed with how predictable it got this isn't predictable anyone that says it is is uh, full of themselves come on it's not this is so good it's not even funny and i know that may be controversial to a lot of people i've actually seen a lot of people don't like this series which i thought was, well, I was baffled by it this series is phenomenal to me so yeah anyway uh the, doc the doctor and uh, they basically had a last minute plan to get them out of that situation with what's his face uh, it's a great name. <laughs> but um, anyway, she basically got on the stall and she controlled all... It almost like they got absorbed into this time storm and then they got shot off in different directions. Now, whether they do land in different directions, I don't know. I guess we're about to find out right now. But anyway, guys, that's the point. They're all scattered across time. Goodness knows where. Weeping Angels, Daleks. I did not expect to see the Daleks. Obviously, they make an appearance like every single season. But not like this. I did not expect that. Uh, and then obviously the Weeping Angel, who I personally believe is here because time's broken. They're going to feast on all the potential energy. If time is damaged and it's stopping potential f futures from happening... That's like a buffet to Weeping Angels. I say, I use that like, sort of term a lot because it is. Really, it is, isn't it? So yeah, find Yaz, find Dan, solve this issue. <laughs> Where are the hostages? We don't know. No traces. Oh. The only information we have is five So he managed, so he ended up with the Doctor? Temple. Where How? are you, Ariel? How did... Shall now complete. Shall the weak and primary defences oh. to give us a way in? They're Just all back the together. Word. Why and how have they ended up here? She's confused. Look at her. That, just, just like me. It's like, why is this happening and how? Tell Psyops to alert the Morris Gaines so she'll be on standby. And tell the fleet to ramp up second wave. Wow, well, so she just phased back into it. See, now look. Dan's back here now. Okay, my mind is just gone. Wait, she was taken? Yeah, it doesn't sorry. make any sense. Lost me parents. So what was your days? It wasn't. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. <laughs> it's the first thing that came to mind. I mean, time is not linear. It's like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. I think that's literally the best way to describe what's happening. With him picking bits of water out of my cheek and asking the waist to call an ambulance. Yeah, it's a lion telling us an archaleptic. I mean, they obviously am. See? Actually yeah. What did I... Okay, guys, can I just say um, something? A little while ago, I mentioned about the potential of the flux sort of just disrupting everything and everyone's minds and thoughts and beliefs about everything that's inside and everyone inside got affected by it and everyone outside was immune so the doctor and dan and all that that's why they're phasing in and out of figuring out what's going on and no one else seems to know 
part of me feels like either it's got something to do with the fact that they're time travelers and they can see this, or it has got something to do with the way that, like, the fact that they weren't inside when the flux happened, you know? There is a lot of missing time, you know? If we can figure out what happened there... Because there was a few days, wasn't there? Imagine we're about, basically about to, like, uncover those missing few days. When is this? Exactly. Well, when is this? So random. You see, look. Look at them. They're all over the place, and he's, they're starting to notice it. Is that one? Is that that guy that I? It is him, the creepy one. I can't hold on to everything. <laughs> this is going to be one of the hardest ones to react to, guys. I'm, t I'm calling. I'm telling you now, simply because you go through, so many things are happening. Oh, Angel. I love that. Like That's so creepy. Trying to keep me out. But was it you? It's like they're reliving their lives in different orders and different Commander. people. Dude, I'm gonna need to pause this at some point just to talk because I this whole start has just been. You do realize in this ear, out the other. Posting. I don't like not knowing, <laughs> but it's good. I've had a few people that like don't like it when I say that, and they sort of think, well, you, of course you shouldn't know what's gonna happen. I'm not saying that I should know. I'm just saying. This is good. This is fantastic because it's it's making me think, which a lot of other episodes haven't of recent times, unfortunately. Yes. Uh, these oh, are the other keepers of time. Oh, Wait, that's right. You won't put yourself at risk in here, Doctor. Time is playing games. Time's playing games with you. Anyway, we need to talk about this because it, it it's something that needs to be discussed. Okay, simple as you like. The time seems to be on some sort of weird sort of reprojection with people changing, people seeing different things, and it seems to be centered around. Yes, yeah, the Doctor, Dan, and that other guy. Is it Vinder? Vinder? Is that his name? Uh, them. And well, since the act of jumping into this time stream, now the question is: Is it because they're supposed to be like looking over time because they did jump in the positions of the Mori, or are they literally scattered in time? That like they said, time is playing games with you. I mean, in a previous episode, they did say time is evil. Time can't run freely. Time needs to be, you know, controlled and looked after and protected. So it's almost like they're being attacked by time now, right? Now, there's one thing I have been speculating about, and that is, like, planet time or whatever is potentially where the Doctor's originally from. If you remember back when we found out about the Timeless Children, etc., we found out the Doctor isn't from Gallifrey. And the question is, could this be in relation to her home planet? Chibnall's arc has always been the Timeless Children. Surely he'd like to give us some clarity about that before he goes. So this could literally be about a bit of a backstory, figuring out her title. Her hometown, her home, right? My other theory was that I did have a theory about the Ravagers and what's his name, the other guy. I need to remember names really badly, but anyway, that main evil guy, right? I had a weird theory that they were seeking out basically the regeneration power of Time Lords, or he was literally basically from the home planet of the Doctor, or someone that invaded the home planet of the Doctor. Now, my theory was that they were after the Doctor's energy, similar to Davros, you know, similar, remember that episode with Davros and the Witches familiar? Davros was adamant to get the Doctor's regeneration energy, and it hasn't been the first. Many people have wanted to do it before, right? Could this literally be that? They are seeking out eternal life. They want to live forever. I mean, we have sort of see that they, like, leech off of the life of others, and that gives them, the, them like, this distorted weird looking form a cheap trick of regeneration like cheap time travel but cheap regeneration you know i had that weird theory that potentially they are seeking that time energy so that they can live on forever they can get to a time lord sort of like some similar to like the family of blood right get your time lord live forever that's the sort of vibe that i'm getting from them or maybe there's another theory i had that maybe the doctor was sent to gallifrey away from them Sounds kind of strange how bringing as it's taken this long for them to sort of come to light. But maybe the Doctor's planet was under threat. Maybe that happened and the Doctor was sent to Gallifrey as like ref to, to get away, to hide, to run. But yeah, I dread to think what all the critics and people that don't like how confusing this series is gonna has been are going to say about this episode. Because, I mean, I've loved it and I'll say this again and again. People that hate on Chibnall's writing this season, I do not understand you. I just, I just don't. To surrender now, or they'll have me to answer to. Or is this like perfectly fine? <gasps> oh, Ruth! The hell are you? What are you doing in my reflection? What is this her here? memories? Is this the Atropos defense systems? This is her memories. Oh my god, she's remembering. That's this what this is. is. Do you remember when I said like just then, right, that potentially? 
the doctor was fighting. I just said this. Not Maybe it wasn't exactly the same, but I said that potentially the doctor was like, or the, those, the ravagers were fighting the doctor's planet. I didn't specifically think the doctor, but the doctor's planet or whatever, right? Fighting them. And then maybe the doctor gets sent back into a time stream. She, well, she's not going to remember. She gets sent forward, sorry, to Gallifrey. She gets sent away from the planet. Imagine that literally what happens. That would be crazy. I tried to hide you, but you keep fidgeting out of your time oh, stream. Oh! Uh, I'm here. So the doctor's trying to hide them in like pockets Wait. away from the flux. Eaters, things. <laughs> the mice. The world keeps moving. You have two tasks as guardian of the Grand Serpent. Protect me. Wait. And record the line of duty. Ah! I watched an episode of that last night. That's um. Is his name Dot? Do they call him Dot in the show? Or have I thought of that like the wrong person? I know who he is though. I recognise him. Yes. Uh. He's also a dick in Line of Duty, or well, so far. Don't spoil anything, because I've only seen, like, one season of it. I don't want to relive this. See, he's speaking to himself. For, this. for the rest of this react, or most of this reaction, I feel like it's literally just going to be them phasing in and out, me being bloody confused, and the Doctor's story, because the Doctor's the one trying to stop this. Yeah. The best place to hide you all is in your own lives. Except Put them back not. to square one. These things haven't happened to me. This isn't my house. Ooh. Don't blink. There are angels disrupting your time stream. Oh, what is it? Quit the game. Is that right? Oh my god. Matt Smith vibes. How is this even happening in a replay time stream? It's gonna get her. It's gonna get her. Okay, never mind. Well, that was quicker than Amy did it. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. It's a difficult moral high ground to okay. occupy. Okay, I need to discuss this because look what he looks like. And he changed when he absorbed someone's life energy. This is why I'm like thinking about wanting to be, wanting the Time Lord energy or wanting to be able to do that because it's almost like he needs to pres preserve his life and likeliness by absorbing life forces. And if he doesn't get that, this starts happening to him. Could that be a connection I've just made or is that literally just... I don't know. I've just seen it and it's interesting, you know? If there's further death or bloodshed, your punishments will be worse. Erasure of identity. Isolation prison Ooh. terms for the infinite duration of so the So happy that we're getting some Working roof. the division must be so compromising. A living prison with endless capacity. What? Hundreds of thousands of life forms locked away within each passenger. Oh. Five passengers. What? Wait, so they're like destroying those prison people. Can't people that anymore. Are they like the so, so? They're like life forms that have been imprisoned by them, right? You better be sure you know where they've been. Everything that's held inside them. Maybe even hidden. So there were Mori in there. Is that, was, is that what this is? Ready to be summoned. Time is not their prisoner. Here you go. Stasis fields. Now. Is this resetting time now? So will we get back to normal? You and me together. We save my friends in the future by replicating what happened in the past. Same oh, problem, same solution. Uh, Embed yourselves in the temple as you did before. They're gonna do the, the same thing. Okay, time to talk, because once again, I'm very confused. Anyway, so basically, the Doctor's going to try and replicate this process that happened in the past. Past. Past with Ruth Doctor. She basically, well, they basically had stored, or she had stored uh, the Mori inside that passenger, uh, what they call it's like a prison for living beings, but a, a, a living one. They stored them into there, and then they basically, basically released them into the temple to control time again, and sent off the, you know what to call it, um, the Ravagers. Now, basically... She's going to try and replicate that, or she wants to replicate that in the present, so the exact same thing can happen. The only thing is, though, the thing that I don't understand is, yeah, you could do that, but the minute you do that, he's still got the upper ground. He's still the stronger person in that situation, unless they contain them. So that's the war that, that, that they were talking about, like, this is our final battle, this is our battle, blah, blah, blah. It's from way back before the Doctor even remembered them. Why did she lose her memory? Why was it taken from her? I don't think we've been told that, and if we have, I've forgotten it, so bear with me. But her memories have been snatched from her, and she was placed on Gallifrey. That's the thing I'm trying to connect. Why was she placed on Gallifrey as the Timeless Child? And like I said, the only thing I can think of is she was put there to protect, or to preserve her original planet. Maybe something was happening, maybe the Ravagers did something that got the upper hand, or... I don't know. Uh, yes! 
It's so weird that I'm happy that they're back, but I love how they keep the, the lights in the, their voice and what they look like and everything. So she just stopped all of those um, Cybermen. To be fair, in theory, uh, <laughs> as the Daleks would say. Flux event affected the planet time. Temporal center cannot hold. No idea what that means. Flux affected planet time. That doesn't sound good. What is the strategic aim of the cyber race post flux? Convert all organic life So they're just like, well, oh, to be we fair, it's just the same. Command, we shall rule. It's the same, oh, it's, it's the same, isn't it? The same motive. There's barely anything left. The what universe is disappearing. They need to have an accident. That's important. They're involved in an unexpected tragedy. Natural disaster. Wait, is that why he was I'm banished sorry. to like observe? Because he Not was like, accident. he you was decide. talking about how it was like a horrible life you he just watched. Tell me. Is that why he was banished? Because he, he went die. against this. Don't make me relive this bit. Does he regret? Oh, he regrets making that decision, doesn't he? Whatever he does. People need to know the truth. No one's going to know the truth. If it goes straight to that guy. And then he's sitting at that observation deck. You watch. You watch him look up and be the planets in this in space, the galaxy. It may be a lot longer before I see you again. You got banished as an observer. Uh, don't right? need to worry. Is that like punishment? Is it like a immediately prison? Immediately reposted. Immediately reposted. See, yeah, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I thought so. I've seen that before. This all happened before. Time don't corrected worry. and everything. You know the rules. <laughs> the Carbonista. This is my only chance to find out more. Bro, uh, all in here if I can just find it. She's gonna end up staying too long or something. You must leave. Imagine like that's the thing, right? She doesn't remember anything about her past. Imagine being exposed to this. It's like a drug. She's gonna get addicted to finding out more, right? So anyway, she's now wanting to stay along. She wants one more memory. She, presumably that tells us a little bit more about who she was beforehand, why she was put on Gallifrey. I think that's the big memory we need to know about what happened there. Uh, and then how she can reconnect with her past in future episodes because that seems to be a really big plot line that Chibnall's focused on and I don't think RT Davies will drop that. So yeah, they're about to go back to their time stream and hopefully fix it the morning and are back there for all to protect the flow of time. This has happened before, it's all happened before. It's really interesting actually. The Doctor's already lived this life. It's happening again. So the Ravagers have been doing this for a long time. Now if that doesn't scream motive like anything else, I don't know what does. Why are they doing it? doesn't make any sense why would they want to do this you know now one thing i will say i really do like about this episode guys is the fact that it is sort of showing you what her mind is like in the memory in her life right it's chaos she doesn't remember anything everything's all over the place time is supposed to be all over the place that's what i really like that they're depicting here it is sort of like choppy and changing and so many different things going on at once that's what time's like so I'm actually quite happy the way that they've sort of gone after this episode. It, it, it has been confusing, but it's supposed to be confusing. They're confused. We should be confused. That's why I'm, That's the way I'm thinking about it, guys. But yeah, how much more of the Doctor's life does she want to see? Part of me feels like there could be stuff that was hidden from her for a reason. Like, why, why was she stripped of her memories? Just why? That's what I'm saying. Like, it must have been hidden for a reason. Something must have happened that she was being protected from that's what that's the vibe that i'm getting or someone had uh basically stole her memories to hide the truth someone evil potentially maybe the truth is a completely different thing that she should be doing maybe it takes you on a completely different direction that she's been following however many thousands of years she's been alive so that's my point is there something there that she doesn't want to see give me the end give me the end of what i was in no you can't force oh, me out they're uh, yeah they're refusing to give her memories back so it's all about her. She's going to have to find him some other way. The damage to time is already done. As intended. Intended? Hmm. Who made the flux? And why? What? Because of you. What? And don't come looking for this. Is going on. Unless, unless like something happens like... May, th this is another little theory that I've got going on inside my mind. Maybe she does go and seek out her memory. Maybe in doing that she disrupts time. Maybe that's what causes the flux. She seems... Well, they, they definitely are talking about her memories a lot in, in her past life. Could she be seeking out something she doesn't want to find? Like I said. They said, this is your fault. You did this. The universe is over now. <sighs> Interesting, man. We brought you here knowing what you would do. This is only the beginning. Wait, are they happy that this happened? Oh, shoot. We may have repaired. But time is unleashed for long enough. The damage is done. 
So time still damaged even though time specs, right? Oh, that's it. Wow. Wow. And now he's gonna be desperate to go after her. You mustn't. These people, this sadist man. No idea what you're dealing with. I do. Are we about? Are we gonna see a darker side to the doctor again? I actually hope so. Strength, right? Gosh almighty. Are we about to see a darker side to the Doctor? Because I swear we haven't seen her dark side in so long. Poor Doctor, man. She doesn't know her past. Like I said, she's going to get Sorry, desperate. She'll go after her. So basically the Ravagers aren't oh, behind the flux, but they've leached you. off of this. I was saying the right thing. I'm only permitted one message. I hope it gets to you. Oh, that's as I see. I was wondering how she was connected. Me and your beautiful as your unborn child. Oh shoot, she's pregnant. Stay in touch. Whenever you need us, press zero. Be safe. So he's now off on his own journey, but he'll be back. He'll be back. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to think after this episode, guys. It's like heartbreaking for the doctor, you know. Ooh. Oh, well, that's right. This episode's caused by the Weeping Angels. But you yelling? What's the matter? She gets sent back. She gets sent back. What's that? A Weeping oh, Angel. Oh, my goosebumps. Don't blink. I think I just blinked. Yes, finally. It's not going like this. Okay, this looks way better than it before, right? It still looks a little bit... The Angel has a TARDIS. Ooh. Okay, guys. That episode was no less than absolutely crazy. And... If you were confused in episode 1 and 2, you're going to be confused in that episode. Now let's talk about what's just happened. And to be honest with you, I don't have a lot to say because it's so vague right now and everything's like in the air. So I'll try and keep this quicker than this usual. I think. I'll try to. So the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that time is disjointed. It's broken. It's collapsed. It's damaged uh, because of the Flux, right? The Flux did this and then the Ravages, they're like a poison. They, they jumped and we later find out they jump in. And they took advantage of this. They wanted this all along. They wanted the Doctor to fix time because the damage is already done. They're there to leech. They're there to cause trouble. And the Doctor's now on a journey to figure out what they want, who created the flux, and why. It's all about why, you know. Why would they be doing this? So, yeah, guys, what I mean by, like, confusing is this episode focused a lot on disjointed memories of Yaz, of Vinda, of Dan, of the Doctor. All these different memories just displaced everywhere while the Doctor's basically trying to keep them safe and stop them from being consumed by time. So basically, as I say, time's evil, which is very interesting. They do that, they, they go through, they, she basically keeps them safe, they then sort of repeat something that happened back in the past with Ruth Doctor, finally we get a piece of Ruth Doctor, I wish we got a little bit more to be honest, uh, but we get, to, uh, we get to explore where she came from and how the Ravagers knew the Doctor and it was from a different form, a different regeneration, guys, in Ruth. Now, there was this sort of plan that they had is to restore the, the Mori and then... Uh, Sort of reboot the universe and keep it nice and safe. Now we do that. Uh, we re reboot. We sort of reboot the universe. We like get hit the universe. Sort of or the, the time it's being watched over again by its guardians. The issue is that the damage has already been done. So this damage that they're talking about, i.e., there's now Dalek, Cybermen, Weeping Angels, all sorts everywhere, guys. That damage is what we're going to now be trying to resolve. Or, or to be honest, fighting for the rest of the season. Now one thing I want to talk about is my theory. Is like I had like a theory that the Ravagers are there because they are trying to seek out that sort of like immortality that the Doctor has. Now I'm not too sure about that theory after the way the episode ended because it just seems like they wanted to disrupt time. They wanted to cause havoc. Maybe, just maybe, their uh, motives are quite simple and just sadistic, you know? But yeah, my theory was that the reason that this is battle with the Doctor is because... Uh, they, they are seeking something from the Doctor's home planet or, or something that's connected the Doctor to them that isn't exactly a good thing. Now, as I say, everything surrounding that sort of topic is very vague right now, so it's probably not a wise idea that I talk about it, uh, other than the fact that it's fantastic we're seeing Ruth, it's fantastic we're seeing these memories, but that does bring me straight to my next point, and that's the fact that I do think we're going to see a darker Doctor, a Doctor reminiscent of Tenant, Waters of Mars sort of, Time, Capaldi, and his dark side, that sort of dark doctor, I think we're about to get, because there's a lot of her life missing, you know, and you can tell that she's hurt by it, and she wants more, she becomes desperate, and I think, potentially, that her desperation for those memories is going to be something that causes this damage, because she's desperate to get into that broken time, she's desperate to do that, she's desperate to figure out her past. Now, I feel like, like they said, you caused this. I have a feeling she's going to take a step too far, she's going to find out something she doesn't want to know, and there's going to be a reason 
that she has her, had her memories taken from her. And maybe that reason is there for a reason, you know? That's my point. I feel like this is a very dark path for her, and I'm just, I'm glad she's getting some closure a little bit at least as to who Ruth was and that whole, those, those memories about what's going on. But yeah, like I said, I think there's something that there's, that's there that she's not going to want to see, or there's something that's there that's going to change her. But yeah, before I talk about the next time, guys, I will just say that overall I thought this episode was fantastic. I thought it really well depicted how messy time is and how disjointed it is. It is like wibbly wobbly timey wimey, like you guys know. I was very happy with the way that they did that. I was also very happy with like just generally like it was supposed to be confusing like I know a lot of people get annoyed when it is confusing or all, all over the place but this is supposed to be that way this episode time was screw screwed up so if anyone's complaining about that again I, I just can't understand I think this episode has been really good guys so far the season is roped in very very well and I've really enjoyed the story and if anyone hasn't I feel bad for you because I don't know what sort of enjoyment you're missing that I'm getting it's been fantastic. But yeah, as for the next time, guys, it's probably the episode that I'm most excited for, and that is the Weeping Angels, the solo sort of Weeping Angel episode. It's called The Village of the Angels. And as we see, we do see Claire again, who's back in time, guys. We see the Doctors there, and blah de blah de blah the, uh, the Weeping Angels is in the TARDIS, obviously. Uh, time energy, that's crazy, because what happened last time when they tried to get into the TARDIS, if they get, to the, uh, if they get the energy of the TARDIS, they'll switch off the sun. That's what Tennant said. So this is crazy, guys. Wait, maybe that's why... In that memory of that younger girl, that the sun just went out and everything just went dark. Could that be related? I don't know. Could that be sort of like a connection there? But anyway, I'm excited for that, guys. Whether they look a little bit weird, nonetheless, I think I'm very, very excited for that episode. I hope they do it well. Please don't screw up the Weeping Angels. I think it's going to be fantastic. Like I said, I think they're here because time is obviously open and bleeding right now. It's like a drink to them. It's a cocktail. They love that stuff. So, yeah. I'm excited guys, I hope you all are too. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week. Also, if you don't forget to follow my Instagram, British Chapter 2 Peas, link is in the description below. Now guys, let me know down below what you thought of this episode guys. Honestly, it was fantastic for me. I thought it was probably another good 4 out of 5. Probably, I would probably rate it slightly, ever so slightly lower than the first two. I thought they were fantastic. This one was a little bit more vague for me and I felt like potentially there was a lot written in there that unless it gets explained, if it, if it gets explained, fantastic. If it doesn't, maybe unnecessary but anyway fantastic episode guys great start great half to the series cannot wait for the next episode as ever it's been your boy british chat thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one